So out here today at Oak Grove, which is a subdivision in West Athens, very close to the Jackson County line, it's uh, in athens Clark County off of 129 heading towards Jefferson. It's actually a little less than 18 miles from I-85. Starting this video inside the neighborhood, at the moment you are looking into the sun, so I'm going to get turned around here, but we've got a really clear day at 60 degrees, um, not a cloud in the sky, so this time of year being February, it's just going to be a, a little bit uh, sun low in the sky, so bear with me. But again, this is Oak Grove subdivision located in West Athens. We're in an area of the subdivision right now that is the newer part. It's called the Artisan District. And this is where some of the architecture is a little bit different. Those homes were built by uh, Monty White. These were built by Summer Hill Homes. Currently, these two right here are four bedrooms, three and a half baths, asking just under $400,000. Now, as we come around the corner here, we're gonna go to a different floor plan that was built uh, years ago. So a lot of these homes were built by, in many cases, the original developer, which was Oak Grove Builders. And um, Oak Grove was done right after the turn of the century, probably 2003, four, uh, is when this, oak, when this area was platted and they began building. We'll end the video on the older section, but Oak Grove was designed to sort of have an in-town feel, a sidewalk community, something that Athens did not have a lot of at the time, really still doesn't. And they wanted a lot of Charleston craftsman architecture. So as you can see here, uh, in a lot of these houses, you're seeing a lot of craftsmen. As we get to the older section, you will really see um, probably more, uh, more Charleston style architecture. So this is the new section where construction is still going on for some properties. Now you're gonna see homes on the smaller side probably get to around 300. And then as you go up in size, you might even see well over 400. But uh, a lot of the people in this neighborhood are going to be a mix between retirees and or uh, in some cases young families. We saw primarily young families uh, at the very beginning and then we saw um, a lot of retirees find this area attractive. And one of the reasons for it is it's not far from Atlanta. You are in the Athens area which is a very popular place to retire now. And the homes sort of have an old classic feel. And as you can see, these aren't big yards. That's by design. So we've already been by a few people walking here in the neighborhood, but this is a big part of it is that uh, it's not as much upkeep on your yard. So as you can imagine, sometimes when you get uh, a little older in age, having less maintenance seems like a good thing. This is the part of the subdivision that was built more around 2005 through 2007. A couple of these homes are actually Southern Living Floor Plans. Others were done by the original developer's uh, architect. I was actually personally a listing agent here. Oh, I don't know, 2007, 2006 timeframe. Uh, and learned a lot about it. It has a great HOA. And at that time they were building the amenities which are located on another part of the property. The amenities are fantastic. This is a swim tennis neighborhood, which we don't see a lot of. In the Athens area we have some but uh, especially at the time this was so new to Athens to have a pool for the HOA and a tennis court and a nice clubhouse it's located kind of towards the back end of the subdivision where we started but I know a lot of the neighbors really enjoy having that uh, as an option so we're kind of in the older section where you can see this is actually a more Victorian style and then a craftsman style and you know, the plans here, most of these in this section are going to have a master down, which we find is, is a lot of the buyers, especially retirees, like. You know, in some cases, this little ranch plan right here is going to be a three, two and a half. Um, so it's sort of a downsize option for some people. I find the buyers that reach out for this area, um, for these homes, I typically find are often over 50, sometimes over 60 there's a few things that appeal to them about the neighborhood and a lot of it's going to be the charm and characteristics of these homes. One thing about the older section that is good and bad, I will say is um, you have some really authentic parts to the construction. For instance, um, I know a lot of the windows are real wood windows and they're probably some of the most aesthetically pleasing windows you'll see, but they do require maintenance. So, you know, be aware when you're looking here that if you end up purchasing or looking at a home in this area at Oak Grove, the inspection is something to be, take note because you might want to look at a repair on a window or something like that. 
Whereas the section we started in, a lot of those homes are gonna have more of a PVC composite material. Um, another unique thing about Oak Grove is that it's not just homes. A lot of this area um, is dedicated to townhomes. So we're gonna come back down, gonna cruise through an alleyway here, and I'm gonna give you a chance to look at some of the townhome plants. Um, the houses here that you're just looking at, this yellow one and the one next to it were built by John Wallace Holmes, an Atlanta area builder um, around 2007. Large, large plans that have sold for over, over 400,000. Now, um, this neighborhood, as I was just mentioning, you have some townhome plans and some condos. So there's a few areas where you can look at even less maintenance, and that's what I'm gonna give you a, a quick view of here. These townhomes are generally gonna be two bedrooms. A couple of them will have three bedrooms. Uh, keep in mind that for most of the townhomes, you're looking at every bedroom upstairs. And your price points, depending on size, are gonna start in the low 200s and can go to just over three. So if you see down here, you've got some of those with covered parking. And then as I come this way, on the left-hand side of the street, you have homes to the left, full residential homes that were built by various home builders. And then to my right, you can see the townhome plans. And those townhomes, for instance, that gray building there, those are the three bedroom units. Whereas the units on the other side are gonna be two bedroom units. And that um, makes a price difference. You're probably looking at high twos versus mid twos uh, with something like that. And one more unique thing is we do come up across a duplex building and some mid-rise condos. This three level building here is actually townhouse flats. So those are condos right there. And then we're coming on to what would be considered a townhouse duplex with these two porches. So my point is there's a little bit of something for everybody, regardless of what you're looking for. If you want really low maintenance, if you're looking for a detached home, that's also here in the neighborhood. This is Oak Grove subdivision in Athens, Georgia, located just off 129, not far from the Loop, Prince Avenue, Athens Country Club, and surprisingly not far from I-85, in Jefferson, so about 18 miles from there.